Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, welcome to the channel and welcome back to our play by video of Eldritch Horror and Cities in Ruin where we're just about to start turn 10 except yes we've got a Cat Weasel's cock up corner where once again I've been trying to make us lose this game. A lot of my errors during this game have actually been against investigators, so I've been trying to stab myself in the foot throughout the game. But fortunately, we've got some eagle-eyed viewers out there that have noticed what I have been trying to do, and they have stopped me, and good on them. So where did I make the mistake last turn? Well, it was with Vincent Lee. When he was fighting the Mummy and the Moon Beast, I forgot to give him two extra will during the combat as per the Sword of Yahatala. So we'll do that because he did lose two sanity. So he's got to roll two more dice for each of those horror checks. So his first horror check, he gets a five, so he gets a sanity back. And we'll do the same for the second horror check against the mummy. And yes, he succeeds again. So I rolled it a lot better this time. So he does get his two sanity back. And that puts him up to five sanity. Which is just one shot of his full sanity. So that is good. So we'll get rid of that. And that's not all. We'll give him his sword of your hat back. Because yes... He should have also got a clue for each monster that he killed as per the sword. So we'll give him those clues as well. So there's one. And there's the second one. So he's got two clues there. We'll put those onto his player tray as well. So we're doing a lot better as far as Vincent Lee's concerned. Because now I have fixed the combat from last turn. And there's one more thing to do. Which is... We have the Otherworld Codex, so we're going to find out where this gate goes to. And our next gate up is Tokyo, which funnily enough is where Pete is headed. So, uh, yes, interesting. Right, oh, so there we are. That's fixing up the errors from last turn. Let's find out what happened previously on Cities in Ruin. <laughs> He was sure that the ghost sailor that visited him on the ship during the long trip to Tokyo was just a dream. However, the old journal and weathered scroll was hidden under the floor near the nightstand, just like the ghost had told him. Can't even have a normal nightmare, exclaimed Pete out loud with a shake of his head and a stifled yawn. The rest of the trip was essentially uneventful so he felt it best to rest up on the way to Shanghai, where he felt sure a big battle was about to take place. He wasn't sure whether he wanted to read the journal or not, but he knew that the scroll was important. OK, here we are with Pete. He's still got everything that he's picked up on his travels. He's doing really well as regards gear. So he's still blessed, which is the most important thing. He's still got his two allies. He's got his medical journal and the King James Bible, which will help with that rest. And he's got everything else, plus two focus and a clue. Um, he's only got two sanity. Uh, you remember he paid one so he could keep hold of the clue. And um, he's got three health. But uh, he'll be fine once he rests because he gets a load of health and sanity back. OK, that's it for Pete who's going to Tokyo, as you've heard. Now, we've just seen that a gate will open in Tokyo. But it's fine. It's uh, This is Eldritch Horror. It's not Arkham Horror. So a gate opening on your space is not the problem that it is in Arkham Horror. So he'll be fine. OK, so that's it for Pete. Let's have a look at Vincent Lee. Vincent made his way deeper into the Pyramid of the Sphinx. He could hear a humming coming from one of the chambers. As he followed the noise, it led him to a glowing portal, guarded by a large, pale, frog-like creature. It had no eyes, but sensed Vincent's movements and attacked him. The beast was slow and already seemed to be injured. Vincent didn't have any problems in killing it. A loud crash echoed around the chamber, and as Vincent spun around, he saw the source of the noise. It was a mummy, and it staggered from its sarcophagus leaning against the wall. 
It made for Vincent, its arms outstretched. After a much tougher fight, the mummy lay in a heap on the floor. Vincent entered the portal and immediately his head started to spin. He felt disorientated. The floor, walls and ceiling all seemed to merge. Stairs were leading off in all directions. He couldn't tell if he was going up or down. Eventually the stairs opened into another chamber. Sat on a throne in the middle was a masked figure wrapped in tattered yellow robes. It slowly looked up at Vincent and stared deep into his eyes. Complete confusion filled his mind. Images and visions raced through his head. He could not distinguish between illusion and reality. Clutching his head in his hands, Vincent fell to his knees. The power emanating from the tattered figure was overwhelming. Vincent drew on all his willpower to try and fight it. He felt himself being pulled towards a bright light. As he got to the light, the chaos stopped. He was back in the first chamber and the portal was gone. Yes, he did very well last turn, did Vincent. And he too has tons of stuff. Isn't he doing well? He's also got a couple of improvements. Forgot to mention Adjcan Pete had an improvement on his observation as well. Uh, Vincent Lee has, uh, now has five will and he has three strength. So he's doing really, really well. He's got those two clues that we just pulled for him and he's up to five sanity now. He's still on three health, however. He's still blessed, which is the most important thing. He's still got his Takoon Elixir, the Sword of Yahatala. Skullduggery, Relentless, Composed, That Courier Run and Sealing the Old Ones. So he is in good shape indeed there at the Pyramids. We'll find out what he's going to do in the action phase, but that is Vincent Lee. Next up is Carolyn Fern. Leaving Dr. Lee, Carolyn made it to Cape Town. Her ship docked and she went into the city. It wasn't long before she found a broken and drunk Bob in a seedy backstreet bar in the worst part of town. He was drinking some local concoction that the locals brewed themselves and its effects were apparent on the poor man. It took a lot of effort to get him to even respond, but when he did, he shoved his pack into her hands and spoke of the great evil and madness in Africa and that it was going to doom the world. She told him that he should snap out of it. It wasn't over yet, but she wasn't sure if he even heard her anymore. She hoped that they could stop whatever it was and Bob could slowly get better. Bob's assistant, Laura, introduced herself, as well as the old man nearby, Stephen St Smythe. They said that they, along with a group of men, would join Carolyn in her efforts. Mr St Smythe handed her Bob's old Winchester rifle and said he had no idea how this worked, but she may find some use for it. She left Bob at the bar and walked out into the daylight. She thought if there's an evil in Africa, she would have to have a say about that. She glanced at the others who had joined her, and after a brief rest at the hotel, she hired a guide to lead her deep into the heart of Africa. So here we are with Carolyn, and she has got all Bob's gear. She's picked all that up, and she is now a force to be reckoned with. She's also got a focus. She's still got five... Um, sanity and she's got a full complement of health which is five as well and she's picked up personal assistant security squad museum curator the rifle and the other world codex that goes with her dream diary and with her tarot card so we're doing pretty good thank you very much right that's carolyn as mentioned she's going to be going to the heart of africa and next up we have lily chen Lily woke and found herself in the hospital. She was told that she had been discovered by a farm worker, unconscious and covered with contusions caused by the flying debris from the cyclone. As the hospital in Arkham had been full, she was taken to a hospital in a neighbouring town. Despite the doctor's objections, Lily checked herself out. Other than a slight headache, she felt fine. The bumps and bruises were nothing. She had things to do. The first thing on the agenda was a visit to the local police department. The police had contacted her, asking her for help with a series of what appeared to be ritualistic killings. The crime scenes were bloody and gory, but nothing compared to some of the things 
that Lily had seen in her investigations. So here we are with Lily. She is not delayed anymore and that's good because she's only got one sanity and two health. She is going to have to rest. All the rest of the stuff she's got, brilliant. If she can stop getting bopped on the head and uh, <laughs> seeing really horrible things, we'd be able to get her back to full health and uh, she'd be able to crack on a bit more. But hopefully we'll be able to start that this turn. So there we are. That is Lily. She is our final piece in the puzzle. Let's get into the action phase. And here we are at the action phase with Pete, who's over here. So what's he going to do first? Well, for his first action, he is going to rest. So remember, he's got the Medical Journal, King James's Bible and Duke. And that helps him get three sanity back and two health. He is now at five health and five sanity, which is brilliant. For his second action, he is going to travel, hence we are pulled out from the board because he's going quite some distance. He is going to go from space two all the way over here to Tokyo. So that is his second action and that is the end of his action phase. Next up is Vincent Lee. And here we are with Vincent Lee who's at the pyramids. What's he going to do? Well, first of all, he too is going to take a rest action and he is going to get one sanity and two health. He gets an extra health because he's Dr. Vincent Lee. So that puts him up at five health and six sanity. So he is doing very well as well. And what's he going to do for his second action? Well, he is going to travel and he's going to travel to the heart of Africa. Yes, he's going to give it another go against these two. And hopefully we will polish them off in the encounter phase. We shall see. That is it for Vincent Lee. Our next investigator is Carolyn Fern. And here we are with Carolyn Fern. Her turn is basically going to be exactly the same as Vincent's. Because first of all, she's going to rest. Now she's at full health. But because she's a psychologist, she gets to sanity. That will take her up to seven, which is her max. So that's brilliant. And for her second action, she too is going to travel because, yes, she's going to join Vincent in the heart of Africa and they are going to try and take down these Chthonians and then shut that gate. Awesome. That is it for Carolyn Fern. Next up is Lily Chen. And here we are with Lily Chen. Again, no prizes for guessing what Lily Chen is going to do. She is going to rest. She definitely needs this health and sanity. So she goes up to three health and two sanity. Not the best, but better than she was on. And she is also going to do a travel action for her second action. And she is going to move to Arkham. She's going to look to get across to Europe and Africa and hopefully she will get healed a bit more by both Carolyn and Vincent if they can all meet up. So that is it for Lily Chen. That is it for the action phase. Next up, the encounter phase. And here we are at the encounter phase with Ashcan Pete. He's on Tokyo, so he's going to have an Asian encounter. So we'll get the Asia deck. Here it is. Let's give it a quick shuffle. And then we will find out what's going to happen. All right. So we want Tokyo. The reigning emperor has been plagued by nightmares. His advisors ask your opinion, and you assure them that these horrors are real. Test influence. Why is he always testing influence? He's rubbish at influence. <laughs> Let's put that in there. But he does have um, re-rolls. He's practised. He's got two uh, focus. He's got a clue, so hopefully we'll be able to do it. He is blessed. His influence is one. And that isn't a minus, so practice does give him an extra die. So he's got 
two dice. He gets a five. Awesome. Being blessed is just brilliant. If you pass, they act immediately. One monster on your choice, of your choice on any space, loses two health. Well, that's really difficult, isn't it, to choose that one. What we're going to do is we'd obviously pick the Ancient Chthonian here and kill it. Except the Ancient Chthonian's going down anyway because of um, Vincent Lee, who's going next. So we're actually going to pick the Chthonian, yeah? Because that's just a pain. It already had two health on it. We're going to give it another two health onto it, and we are going to kill it. So the Chthonian has gone. Awesome. And that means it's just the ancient Chthonian on the heart of Africa. But we already know that that's doomed because of Vincent Lee has the... He's got a condition, uh, I think it's relentless or something, which will mean that it's going to go down anyway. So let's get rid of the Chthonian. Because otherwise Vincent Lee would have had to fight the Chthonian. So uh, we'll get that out of the way. So that's really good. One of the good things about Tokyo is getting these sort of encounters if you can pass them. And that is just what Ash Campeet has done. So great news. We're really rattling along to getting rid of that second mystery. Okay, so that is it for Ash Campeet. Next up is Vincent Lee. And here we are with Vincent. As mentioned, we're going to be taking on the Ancient Chthonian. We've got Relentless here, but first of all, what we've got to do is the Horror Check. We can't get away with not doing the Horror Check. So it's a Will Test minus one. I will remember he's got the Sword of Yahatala this time. So that's plus two because it is a combat. And he's got five anyway, so that's seven. 7 minus 1 is 6 blessed dice. Surely. <laughs> Surely he's going to pass. Come on. And yes, he does. So that's brilliant. So he hasn't lost any sanity. Then we come to the actual combat. So it's minus 2 and all this, but we're not even going to have to roll a die, I don't think, because we have got Relentless. When resolving a strength test during a combat encounter, you may reduce the monster's toughness by one to a minimum of one during the encounter. We're going to do that. Its toughness goes down to four. It's already got four health on it. It is dead. But I think we've still got to do the roll anyway. So it's plus three, three, six, minus two. We're going to get four dice. just in case he loses any health during it. We know it's going to die, even if we get no successes, but we got four successes anyway. <laughs> so he didn't lose any health. The ancient Chthonian has bit the dust. And that means the mystery has been solved. Woo, 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 woo. Which is the main thing. We'll get rid of that ancient Chthonian. I'll put it to one side. You never know, they may come back. We'll get rid of those. And that is brilliant. Let's just check the burrowers beneath. It's usually the mythos phase when it comes in. Yeah, at the end of the mythos phase, if all the ancient Chthonian epic monsters have been defeated, solve this mystery. So we'll leave that till the mythos phase. We can get rid of that. Oh no, we can't because we're going to go in the gate, aren't we? Right, relentless. We've got to flip this card, I believe. Yes. When the fight is over, you have, you've struggled to breathe. You have pushed yourself too far. Resolve one effect of your choice. Lose one health. Flip this card. Discard this card. We'll lose one health. Thank you very much. So he goes down to four health, but that is well worth it. Brilliant. And get rid of the dice. Get rid of the dice. Put them over here. Got rid of all those monsters. Pete got rid of one Chthonian, and Vincent's got rid of the other, so the gate is free to be closed. Let's get the Otherworld encounter deck from up here. Give it a shuffle. 
There we go, and let's see where we're going. We're going to the city of the great race. You find yourself trapped in a strange alien body, surrounded by the broken bodies of other Yithians. You hear a loud wind howling overhead. A blind panic creeps into your thoughts and you struggle to retain your reason. Will test, he's got five will and he's blessed. Woo! Being blessed is awesome. Five times. Come on. And he gets three successes. Two sixes and a four. You see a strange device that can heal the tear in reality. Close this gate. Woo! So we've got rid of one of these horrible red sunburst gates that's going to cause us a problem in a bit. But there we go. Heart of Africa goes over there in the closed stack. Brilliant. Let's read the rest of the pass. The machine is inscribed with symbols, a law minus one test. His law is one. Does he get any pluses from anywhere though? Uh, no, no, he's composed. So he will get a re-roll as long as he don't roll a one. Oh. So we'll have one of these sixes. That's unfortunate. Come on. Got a re-roll with Compose, which we're going to need because that's a three. But fortunately it wasn't a one. A five, he does it on the re-roll. So we used Compose there for a re-roll. If you pass, you learn where an important object is kept. Gain one artifact. Woo! Fantastic, there's the fail. We're not interested in the fail because we passed and we get an artifact. Things are going our way. I can feel all our viewers going, damn it, he's doing it again. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Woot, woot, woot. So here are our artifacts. We could do something amazing. Yes, come on. Mask of the Watcher. Item magical. Reduce the horror of monsters you encounter to one. Brilliant. When you pass a will test during a combat encounter, gain one focus. What a nice little artifact that is. So we will give that to Vincent, who is on fire. Well, poor old Carolyn. She's just stood there and watched open mouth as Vincent has just been a beast. Right, so that is it for Vincent. So we'll move him to one side. Next up is Carolyn Fern. And here we are with Carolyn. So we'll get rid of that because she's not blessed. Now, all she's left with is a generic wilderness encounter by the look of it. So let's get the deck. And let's have a quick shuffle. A cut and let's see what the wilderness has in store for her in the middle of the night a feral beast rips apart your camp and attacks you test strength that's not brilliant so her strength is two does she get any help she's got a focus she's got the security squad so we're going to use them so her influence is four because of her personal assistant so yes, four. We're gonna get four dice. One, two, three, four. Come on. Oh damn it, one fell out. And we haven't got success either. A six, yes! <laughs> we did have a re-roll from the personal assistant as well though. If you pass, you feel invincible. Improve will. Woo! Fantastic. So, let us improve Will. It's one of those turns. I love it. So, Will goes up to... If I can get one of the tokens out of the Plano box. Her Will goes up to five. That is just brilliant. So, excellent work in the heart of Africa by Carolyn and Vincent. Awesome. 
Right, oh, let's get up to Arkham and to Lily Chen. And here we are with Lily Chen in Arkham, but she's not going to do an Arkham encounter. Stosha, she's decided to have just a generic city encounter because she doesn't want to lose any sanity. So it's a bit of a gamble, but uh, let's see if that will prove to be the case. Let's put that there. And again, let's get the generic deck. And here it is. Quick shuffle as normal. And then we will do the city encounter. <clears throat> Corrupt members of the police force pressure you for a bribe. You speak to some people you know to take care of the problem. Influence, I don't think her influence is great. Her influence is two. She's got a lucky rabbit's foot, however. And is there anything else that helps? No, just the lucky rabbit's foot. Unfortunately, the grizzly token, token doesn't help. Oh no, it does. We've got two re-rolls because the grizzly token gives us a re-roll as well. So, two influence. And two re-rolls. Come on. A four and a three. So we'll do the lucky rabbit's foot. Five, yes. So we only have to use one re-roll. If you pass, the police are apologetic and share their leads with you. Spawn one clue. Woohoo! So that's not too bad. So let's get the clue back. And let's see where the clue's going. It is going to... Space 6, where we just came from. <laughs> Look at all the clues in North America. Right, okay, so the main thing there, of course, is that Lily Chen didn't lose any health and she didn't lose any sanity because she'll need all that she's managed to get because, yes, indeed, next up, it's the laugh and chuckle phase. And here we are at the laugh and chuckle phase. So let's get the laugh and chuckle deck and flip her over and as we thought it's a green so that's good stuff well hopefully it's good stuff there's no tentacles right so omen track movement we're on a green comet we go to a blue constellation we have no blue constellation gates we do not move our doom track it's still on 12 so that's good we then have a monster surge. Now we've got no gates with a blue constellation. So that means we've got to promote a gate. And that will be Tokyo. But while I forget, let's see what our next one will be. While I forget, I mean while I remember. The next one, because we've got the other world codex, is going to Istanbul. The next, the next one. So that's... Uh, that's good to know. I nearly set up Istanbul, but it's actually Tokyo that goes on the board. Right, so Tokyo opens right in front of Pete's eyes. But as I say, this isn't Arkham Horror. He doesn't get sort of dragged inside. He doesn't get delayed. But we do get a monster. Let's get right down to the bottom. And we get... A Leng Spider. These are nasty. Leng Spiders are nasty. So, will test. Normal, but we could lose two health. Combat is minus one. Could lose two health. Three toughness. Well, at least it isn't five toughness like the ones we've been pulling out of the bag lately. If you fail the horror test, do not resolve the strength test, and you do not resolve any other encounters this round, it captures you in its web. Right, so let's set this boy up. Leng Spider. There we go. We have a Leng Spider at Tokyo. <clears throat> so that is it for the surge. Two clues. We're getting a few clues on the board and we'll need it for this final mystery when we find out what it is. Clue is going to space two. Putting a lot of clues where a Investigators have just been 
And our last clue is space 12. Is it? Yes, 12 here in the South Atlantic. That is the clue sorted out. After weeks of encountering ancient and monstrous creatures, you were unprepared for something so cold and personal as being betrayed by, oh no, by an associate. Lies can be every bit as destructive as any wizard's curse. Unexpected betrayal. No! Each investigator with at least one ally asset loses three health and discards one ally asset. Hang on. Hang on. Does that do anybody in? Oh, God. It does. It does. Oh. It does for Lily. Lily's gone. She's got Enoch bowing. He is an ally. And she has bit the dust. I'm sorry, Stosha. But she's got to lose these three health. She had been hanging on. But unfortunately, Enoch, evil Enoch from the past, <laughs> he's, gone and, he's gone and stabbed you in the back. So, unfortunately, we have lost Lily Chen. Lily Chen has uh, been injured. We've got a couple of others to deal with, but I think they survive. So, Lily ends up in St Mary's Hospital. And let's take her off a stand, then we know. So, we'll put her down there. Oh, this is awful. Our second investigator. So Lily has gone, unfortunately. That means, let's get that out of the way. Um, don't need it, we haven't got reckoning. So we go down to 11 on the Doom track, unfortunately. We've still got a bit of Doom in hand, but oh, that's bad. Yep, yeah, so poor old Lily's gone. I'll sort the rest of that out in a minute. Let's sort the rest of these people out. We have, right, we've got Ashcan Pete. Now, fortunately for us, we've got the conspiracy theorist. I might, as if Duke, as if Duke could do Pete in. But fortunately, we've got the conspiracy theorist. So he's going to be the one we discard, and we're going to lose three health. Yeah, but we've still got Duke. So that's not too bad. We managed to keep Duke. We couldn't have had Duke betraying us. It's just not right. So we'll discard that. Get rid of those three health. So that puts uh, Ashcan Pete down to two health. But he can recover really quickly. So he's fine. Who else has got... Well, amazingly, Vincent Lee hasn't got any allies. So that's good. But unfortunately, Carolyn Fern has. She's got a couple of allies that she got from Bob. Perhaps one of these allies was sort of doing doing the dirty on us. So we have the museum curator, the security squad and the personal assistant, they're all allies. She's got to lose three health, we'll do that now. But she's still got two health left. So she'll just have to rest next turn. And she's next to Vincent Lee, so she should get two health back, so that's good. Um. Who's she going to... Well, she won't get rid of the personal assistant. That's plus one. It's looking like the museum creator, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, because the security squad's useful. So, the museum creator. He has been a naughty boy. So, he gets discarded. Get rid of him. So, it was the museum creator all along and the conspiracy theorist. They were there. They were snakes in the grass. And, um, yeah... So, Carolyn, Ashcan Pete, and poor old Lily. Yes, they were betrayed, all of them. And that has meant Lily has, unfortunately, received a crippling injury. And she is in St Mary's, and she has bit the dust. And that is a real pity. I really thought she was going to get away with it, but it just goes to show in this game, you just cannot count on anything. I mean, look at this. It hasn't even got tentacles on the card, and it's managed to kill one of our investigators. That is bad. Oh, so, but 
you know, we, we were lucky. It didn't kill more than one investigator. This is a bad card to get at the end of the game. At the start of the game, there's a good chance you won't even have an ally. But at the end of the game, oh. So, yeah. Oh, damn it. So, Lily. Oh, Paul. Oh, no. Right. So, what have we got to do now? We've got to pick some. Let's get... Let's, won't be a second. I'll just get it all organised because we're going to have to pick out another um, investigator. Won't be a second. Okay, I'm back. I've sorted Lily out. She's up there. And, uh, yes, all the conditions have gone back. You can't keep conditions, so martial prowess, all that sort of stuff has gone back. She does have her ancient sword, the grizzly totem, the protective amulet, and the lucky rabbit's foot. She's got all that sort of stuff. She's been allowed to keep that. Obviously, Enoch got discarded. And, um, yes, the traitor. We discarded Enoch, the traitor. But, um, yes, so she's got all that stuff ready to be picked up should the encounter merit it. And we can get somebody over there. Talking about getting somebody over there, we need a replacement. So, let's take the deck of people we haven't used yet. And we will give them a shuffle. Now, Jeremy and uh, Anthony, same deal as last, last time. First come, first served, get over to tube tables and say, I want to be the next investigator, you're in. We will do a cut. And you won't be Leo Anderson, you'll be whoever is on the back. Rita Young! So you're going to be Rita, the athlete. As an action, you may spend one health or one sanity to gain a talent condition. Cool. As a passive... Add one to the result of each die rolled as part of an illness, injury or madness condition effect. Oh, that could be pretty good. I suppose it's because, like, obviously she's a bit of an athlete and she keeps herself in trim. You got a bone to pick? Fine by me. I don't need your permission to leave you in the dust. Quite right. No prisoners from Rita. So health, seven. And her sanity is five. That's pretty good. Law is good at 3, Influence is appalling at 1, Observation is okay at 2, Strength, awesome, 4, I know Will is very good as well at 3, let's flick her over, she starts in Shanghai, China, I'll get her standee in a bit, so, oh, she's already going to start with the ghoul and the gate, so she may be able to help Ashkan, because Ashkan's looking to go there as well, she gains a rugged condition and a clue, so let's sort that out, Conditions. I'm looking for rugged. Oh, there might be more than one, might they? So let's give it a shuffle and then we'll go off the back till we get rugged. Come on. Today. Blimey, have we got a rugged condition? I've not gone past it, have I? I don't think so. Here we go. No, we haven't. So, rugged condition, talent. You may re-roll one die when resolving strength test. Brilliant. Once per round, if you would lose two or more health, prevent one of that health loss, then flip this card. That is excellent, because we have got shooed mel. So that is a really good ability to have with Rugged. So she is Rugged. And she gains a clue. Always useful. So we'll dig a clue out for her. There we go, whatever that is. She has got... Put that over on the player tray. Let's read the rest. Clocks do not lie. In the past, people said hurtful things to Rita. They threatened her. But... Si but since she started running competitively, Rita has only cared about the clock. Most of the time it says that Rita is faster than the rest. It says she is stronger and has trained harder. Now she competes around the world and has attracted some unwanted attention. The prejudices of certain esoteric cults cannot tolerate her successes. They plan to make an example of her, but they will have to catch her. And that clock says they cannot. Woo! 
So the usual, what happens if she gets injured? What happens if she goes insane? We'll leave that to such time as that happens. She starts in Shanghai, so I will sort out her standee and won't be a moment. And I am back. So there is Rita all set up in Shanghai. Oh dear, what a horrible turn. It's always horrendous to lose an investigator. We've lost Bob. And now, thanks to Enoch stabbing her in the back, poor old Lily Chen is out for the count in Arkham. That is a real pity. We've actually moved Doom down one. But we've nearly finished because we've got one thing less to do. And... That is the burrowers beneath. We got rid of that ancient Chthonian, so at least we have solved the second mystery. At the end of the mythos phase, if all of the ancient Chthonian epic monsters have been defeated, solve this mystery. We have solved it. That means we have to pick our third and final mystery. So come on. Let's do a cut. And what do we get? The world render. This doesn't sound good. A Chthonian of immeasurable power has emerged in the deserts of northern Africa. Near continuous earthquakes repel those who would face it, and soon the entire region will be reduced to ash and rubble. When this card enters play, spawn the world render epic monster on the pyramids. No! Right, let's go for. Right, I'll go and look for that, won't be a second. Okay, I'm back with the world render. And um, it's just all epic monsters for Shude Mel. He's a horror. And it's got a reckoning. And we're due another reckoning because we're now in the third stage of the mythos. So I think we get four reckoning cards and two green mythos cards. So four yellow, two green. So uh, we could do with getting rid of this guy. So world render. Obviously, I think that could be six. It normally is. Right, on a horror check, it's minus one, and we can lose three. On a strength test, it's minus three, and we can lose four. That's bad. It's physically resistant. On a reckoning, roll one die. On a one or a two, advance doom by one. So Shude Mel is not giving up easily. We may be on 11 on the doom track, but it can still motor on, and it can still set off a couple of disasters. Toughness is equal to the investigators plus two, so it is going to be six toughness. We need to sort this guy out. The problem is poor old Ashcan. Because Ashcan is in Shanghai. I think we really need him and Vincent down here to get to the pyramids and uh, sort this guy out. So there is the world render. I think Pete and Vincent should be able to do him in. So it is physically resistant. Let me just check. Fetch stick. That is fine. That's a magical weapon. Sword of Yahatala, which is a magical weapon. So they've both got magical weapons. Yes. Yeah. Exactly what I said at the end of last turn. We've got plenty of doom to play with. We've got disasters. But this is exactly the sort of card where you just go, you know what, forget about Gates. Just get in there and kill it as quickly as possible. So we can do it in two turns. So not next turn, the turn after, we can have both of them in the pyramids fighting the world render, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a beast. Yeah. Oh, what's this as well? If... If an investigator would gain an artifact, he may gain the Vach Viraj Chant artifact instead. Ooh. At the end of the Mythos phase, the World Render Epic Monster has been defeated. Solve this mission. I don't even think we'll need that Vach Viraj Chant. I think we could probably kill it with what we've got. But, you know, if we come across an artifact, we'll, we'll pick it out. Okay, right. So, the World Render. Well, what a bit of sweet turn that was. I think we're in with a real chance of winning this game. It's just a horrible, horrible pity about Lily. Stabbed in the back by Enoch the Git. So we've got a new investigator, which is Rita. She's another face puncher, which could really help out. And, um, oh, I've just had another thought, actually. Just had another thought. 
There is a shipping lane from Tokyo to Shanghai. Ashcan Pete moves to Shanghai, travel action. And then he can use his special ability to get to 17. So he doesn't even have to, you know, buy a ship ticket. So he could, he could get to 17 and have an action over. He could have an action over. And what could he use? Yes. Moves to Shanghai. Move along the train track and he's got one action over. And with his one action... Oh, it, it's, I think it's just much of a muchness. He could um, rest or something. Yeah, so he could rest on space 17. Yeah, that's probably better because he took um, a three, three health hit, didn't he? Yeah, so move to Shanghai. Travel action. Then use his special ability to move to 17, which gives him an extra action because he used a train um, track and he rests. Then he gets, obviously, gets his usual um, amount of loads of sanity and loads of health back. And then he would be in a better position. That's better than buying an actual shipping ticket. So first action to Shanghai, use his special, ac special action and gets an extra action to rest. Yeah, that's better. And then um, he will be able to, the turn after, he will be able to buy a train ticket and then get to the pyramids. Awesome. Right, oh. Anyway, enough of, enough of planning turns that we haven't even done yet. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the views. Thanks for all the subscriptions. Thanks for all the likes and the dislikes. And thank you for all the help and support. It's really, really appreciated. Thank you. Thanks to everybody who's been across to BGG to upvote the videos there and make a comment. Or across to Board Game Links to view the videos there. Thank you so much. Again, as usual, if you've noticed me make an error, please shout it out because it's probably against the investigators. If you can save Lily, please, please <laughs> let us know. But I think that is, uh, unfortunately, I think she has had it, unfortunately. Uh, as I say, Jeremy and uh, Anthony, first come, first served, you will be playing Rita for the denouement. And, uh, yeah. Any errors, let me know. I'll try and fix them. But it looks like we are getting to the crux of it now. The world render has appeared at the pyramids. We need to kill it in order to win this game before Doom starts marching onto all the disasters and it starts getting more and more difficult. Thank you all for watching. As I say, I hope you will join me next time for turn 11. But until then, this is me. Cat Weasel signing off. Toodaloo.